Hey everybody, I'm going to show you real quick um, how the Captain Sim 757, how to um, make the all of your joystick functions work on every single button and switch in a quick tutorial. I bumped a post in the water cooler on the post I originally did here, so you'll see it on your drop down of new posts here. You can go to it and you're going to see the code that I extracted and then just the example I posted right here. We're going to keep that handy. In fact, what we can do is just simply copy the code between the mouse and gauge section and all you're going to do is open up and how I got to this screen is you take your FS9 or FSX root folder and you're going to go down to gauges inside there you're going to see the 757.0.cab open that up and inside is all the BMP images for all the gauges and then if you sort it by type, this is how I'm getting this, um, you can go to, these are all the XMLs. And if you can see here, like for instance, here's the Electro 1. And the Electro is the root XML for the whole electric panel on the plane. So for instance, what I want to show you is if we go to Fuel, the Fuel panel, maybe CDFG, here's the bleed. And we got to find the fuel panel. Fuel right here. So what you have to do is you go to the root fuel. These are miscellaneous. This is the fuel one XML. You can right click, open with, and you're going to go to notepad. And then notepad is you're going to see the whole XML code. And these are descriptive items of what actually happens in the action. And what we got to do is we got to find the mouse actions. So you're going to scroll and the mouse actions are always at the very end of your XML. And as you can see, they start right here in the mouse section. Here's your descriptor, here's your tooltip, here's the cursor type as a hand when you wave over the icon. And what we're going to do is, you all you have to do is you're going to look at the click click. Between the click commands is the actual um, command flight simulator you're going to send to toggle that switch or knob and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left F fuel pump command here I'm just going to highlight between the two click commands I'm going to copy that section paste it in another notepad so for quick reference and what I did at the bottom here is I already um, basically did um, a edit already so if you notice here Just give me a second. Open up Notepad. Perfect. All right. So if you notice here, um, I basically copied my on key, but this is on key 74. If you notice in this website, um, I also gave you um, further down here. Um, I gave you this um, website. And what this website allows you to do is it allows you to go to this test window and press like the letter F it gives you the code 70 right here and that's how we're going to get our code um, so when we press a key flight, simula uh, flight simulator interprets the XML that that's actually a code so we're going to do is going to go back to um, back to the post here and we're going to go to our notepad And then you're going to see here on the notepad, we're editing at the very bottom, the key insert has to be at the very end of the XML. So at the end of a regular, um, it would go straight from mouse to gauge to finish up the XML code. We're going to basically, all you can do is you can copy the code I put. right here. Copy anything after the mouse. Copy this. Go to your XML. And I already kind of done this for you, but what you can see, that's what, when you open up a raw XML, what it looks like. And all you have to do is you can basically press enter. Uh, Control V is paste if you don't know that. I'm going to paste the code I just copied over from the post I made. And all we can do is, I'm using Q, and Q, if you go to that website, it's actually 81. And all I'm going to do is I can take any one of these codes, for instance, um, right forward. 
I can copy the code between the two click actions. Copy here. Actually, Control Z. I press the wrong button. Um, copy your code, and I'm going to replace. can delete this and then you're gonna insert the code and this is the end of the code you need to have the key thing is you need to have this code at the very end of your key the on code without that your panel will be broken you won't be able to view it so now what I did was I changed my on key to 81 and then all I did was take the code and I swapped it out with the code I had originally here that was controlling the autopilot position that I described in the thread. Now, all we can do is finalize this. That's fine. Make sure there's no gap between the this keys entry and the gauge. Go up here, file, save. Make sure you close out of your notepad. And then I'm gonna go and I'm going to launch uh, Flight Simulator. Let's give that a second. Alright, flight sim is loaded. I'm loading my Captain Sim 757. Um, and we'll press fly now. All my panels are in the saved load state without my custom colored um, minimized border state. Alright, so here's the start off cold dark cockpit. What we're going to do is we'll just go to the battery switch. Turn the battery on and what we're going to do is we're going to look at this button right here the forward all i'm going to do is i'm going to go down to my keyboard and i'm going to press q try and do this to the phone q right here and if you notice my forward rear core indicator if i press the switch it activates the fuel pump which means I can then assign Q and FSUIPC to actuate any joystick button that I wish. And this is how you can map any setting on the Captain Sim 757 overhead or switch to any joystick feature you have. Hope this helps. Any questions, just let me know.